So let's say I want to find the perpendicular bisector of A and B. Now we really need to understand what does this mean? What are we doing here? What are we being asked to find? So really it's best if we draw a little diagram just to visualise what's going on. So 3, 8 minus 9, 4. So B is to the left and down of A. So here's B minus 9, 4 and here's A at 3, 8. Okay, so perpendicular bisector. Now, this word, the bisector, means to cut in half. Okay, so to bisect something, you're going to cut it in half. So, what I'm looking for is the line that is perpendicular to the one that will join A and B. So, a line that is perpendicular to, these, to this chord that will cut that chord in half. So, in other words, it would be a line that looks something like this, cutting through the midpoint of A and B. So what I'm going to need in order to do that is, first of all, I'm going to need the midpoint. OK, so I'm going to need the midpoint of A and B. So if we work that out first, we add together the two x-coordinates, so 3 plus minus 9, or 3 take away 9, over 2, so the average of those coordinates, and the average of the y-coordinates, 8 plus 4 over 2. So that would give us, what's that, minus 6 over 2, so minus 3, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 over 2 is 6. So minus 3, 6 is the midpoint. Now we need to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector, the line that crosses through here. So because it's perpendicular to this chord, it will have a gradient that is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of that chord. So the gradient of the chord can be found by finding the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So I'm going to have 4 in the numerator and 3 plus 9, so 12, in the denominator. So 4 over 12 is 1 third. So that means that the gradient of this chord is a third, so the gradient of the perpendicular line will be minus 3, the negative reciprocal of a third. So the equation of this line will be, now you knowing that it goes to the midpoint, minus 3, 6, we can use the y minus y1. So y minus 6 is equal to m, the gradient of this line, so minus 3, lots of x minus x1, so x plus 3. So this is the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So if I maintain the y minus 6 on the left-hand side, multiply through by the minus 3, and then add the 6 to both sides. We have the equation of the perpendicular bisector of A and B. OK? So it requires us to find the midpoint of the two coordinates, find the gradient of the chord between, that joins those two coordinates, and then use the negative reciprocal of that gradient and the midpoint to generate the equation of the line that's required.